Hi, hi. I'm teacher Im. I create videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths D paper and I do hope that my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, today I'm going to talk about how to prove the two given events are exhaustive events. Right? So I hope to see you right after the intro. Let's start the lesson by truly understanding what actually exotic events are. Now, if I have two experiments, two sets of experiments, and I say that they are exotic, means the uh, total probability of event A plus event B actually created the sample space. Okay, so A union B, the probability of A union B, they actually created the whole sample space. So it will look like this basically. Means the probability of A uh, adding to the probability of event B, they created one. Okay, probability is one, means they actually is the full sample space. Okay, let's look at this example for to understand the, the question further. Okay, let's see if I have a pair of dice rolls. So a pair of dice means two dice. I need to roll them and uh, I need to create the sample space. So I will create the sample space first before I start doing this question. So you have to decide. If you have not seen the video on sample space, you should go and click on it in the playlist. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to use the table because that's the easiest way where I can create and uh, my sample space without uh, missing any any element, okay, any event. So I will have each of them created out, and I will calculate the number of sample space is thirty six. Okay, once I created my sample space, I need to check what are the question, uh, what the question wanted. They ask you to. Find the probability, the events are probability of getting at least one six. Means I will find all the elements in my sample space which has one six, at least one six. And then I will write, let A be getting at least one six. And the number of A, I can count one by one and I will get 11. Okay, so that's... 11 uh, sample inside this event. Now, once I know that, I can actually calculate the probability of A. So the probability of A is the number of sam uh, A and divide by the number of samples. So I have 11 over 36. Let's look at the second event. In the second event, they ask for the probability of getting a sum less than 11. So I will Try to calculate means the sum, sum means adding the two numbers together. For example, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So that is a number less than 11. So I will mark all of them. So all this is actually my second event, which is getting the sum less than 11. So the total here, I have 33. So that is 33 uh, element inside this event. So to calculate the probability of this uh, event B, I need the number of uh, event inside B and divided by the total sample. So 33 divided by 36. Okay, now let's go for the question. The question asks us to prove that they are exotic events. So to prove that they are exotic events, we need uh, to make sure that they are the total they total up to one. So now the question says find the probability of getting at least one six n. N means intersect. Okay, so I will find the intersection of uh the intersection of probability of A intersect B. So there is how many of them? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 of the probability. Okay, 8 of it, which A and probability A and B. So I have uh, the number of 
A and B, the two of them happening together, I can see clearly from the table that I have here. So it's 8 over 36. So the probability of A and B is 2 over 9. Now, A union B is something that we need to uh, calculate because we want to know if this total up to 1. Okay, so the probability of A union B will be the probability of A plus probability of B. This is actually the summation uh, the, the summation formula for probability. And then we minus the probability of A intercept B. Okay, so we will use this to calculate whether the total are up as 1 or not. So we will put in the details that we have just now, the probability of A, and then the probability of B, which is 36 over 33 over 36, and we will minus out the intersection, okay, the probability of A and B, so 2 over 9. Okay, when we press the calculator, we actually get the answer is 1. And therefore, because they use the word hence, proof, means we use the answer from the previous, which is the intersection and the probability, and we have already proven that the union are actually one. So therefore, we can make a conclusion that these two are exotic events. So we say the probability of A union B is equal to 1. Therefore, we have proven that they are exotic events because the whole set of probability of A plus probability of B actually made the whole Event, uh, sample space. Okay, I have a bonus for you. Actually, exotic event, there are two types of exotic event. Okay, the first type of exotic events are mutually exclusive. Okay, if when the two events are not related, for example, like this one here, they are mutually exclusive events and they are also exotic events. So mutually exclusive means this event A and event B are not related. Okay, the one that we saw just now inside my example, they are not mutually exclusive because they actually has an intersection and their intersection is not equal to zero. So they are not mutually exclusive in my previous example. But if they are mutually exclusive, they can be mutually exclusive and at the same time, they are exotic. Another type is the one that I, we saw just now, which are, they are not mutually exclusive because there is an intersection and they are, they can be considered as exotic event because the total of this union is equal, also equals to one. Okay. So that is the end of this video. So I will see you again in my next video and do hit the like and subscribe button, okay? If you understand what I have just uh, taught you, and I would really love to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye, see you again.